a lot of you have been probably hiding your legs under pants and tights all winter long, and now it's time to bring them out for spring. So you need to get them ready with good advice from Sasha de Gersdorf, Senior Editor of Women's Health Magazine. Great to have you with us, Thanks Sasha. Thanks for having me. And I think one of the big issues that I certainly, we all talk about is cellulite, and is there really such a thing as a magic cure out there for cellulite? What's the answer? Well, I hate to disappoint you. I'll go ahead and say the answer is there is no magic cure. <laughs> Now, Even though they're all promising that there is. Yes. Well, what we can do is minimize the appearance. So when cellulite happens, a fat in our bodies is separated into certain compartments, and that compartment is held together by a fibrous tissue. And when the fat pushes against that tissue, we get the bulging and the puckering that we all know as cellulite. Mm. So at Women's Health, we found some ways to minimize the appearance of it. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're not retaining too much fluid. So it's important to hydrate, but you don't want to eat any salty snacks, you don't want a lot of salty foods because that's going to make the cellulite look even worse. What are the kinds of products that are actually going to help yep. make this situation at least improve it? Hey, well, we've got a good routine here for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is exfoliate about every three days in the shower with a loofah and a body scrub like this Burt's Bees Sugar Scrub that we like at Women's Health. And you're going to want to exfoliate regardless if you have a cellulite problem or not. It's a good thing for women to do in general. Then you're going to rub on a retinol based cream like this one from Brock that's it's going to rebuild the collagen and thicken your skin. And after that, you can add a little cream spiked with caffeine. Hmm. So caffeine, not just good what for is the morning. Caffeine? So caffeine is great for stimulating blood flow, and studies show it can help you flush out some excess fluid. Now that routine you're going to want to do for at least six weeks to make six it work. Weeks. If that sounds too hard for you um, and you want something you know, a little bit easier, you can just swap out your daily moisturizing lotion with one with a gradual self-tanner like this one from Copper Tone, and that's going to even out your skin tone and hide some imperfections in your legs. All right, another kind of imperfection is the stretch marks. Mm -hmm. How do these things come to be? Well, rapid weight gain, especially associated with pregnancy, is the number one reason for stretch marks. The skin is stretching out, the collagen and elastin in it is starting to snap, and you get those angry red scars that can fade to white after a year or two. So the good news is yes. that you can prevent them. Okay. Um, what you want to do is as soon as you see that red mark starting to form, you want to get a cream or a product that has some onion extract in it, which can hmm. reduce the redness and take care of that wrinkly texture, like this kind from Mederma, um, stretch mark therapy. Now, if you've waited too long and it's already that grayish white wrinkly um, look, you can go to your dermatologist and ask for a prescription strength cream that can help even things out. Okay, I want to make sure we get to these items mm -hmm. as well. This is for age spots yep. right here. Mm -hmm. Age spots, people think they're mostly from age. They're actually mostly from sun damage. So what you want to do every day regardless is put on a lotion like the Siesta Carrots with SPF 30. And lastly, you have some vitamins here to take. These vitamins are for spider veins. So spider veins happen, it's mostly because of genetics and again, associated with pregnancy and those hormones. And you want to take some horse chestnut seed extract to keep your veins in shape. Or you can cover them up with a hardcore cover-up foundation for the body, like this one from Cover FX. Just rub it on with a damp makeup sponge. Make sure you rub it in. Mm -hmm. Cover that up. That will last for at least a day. And we also like this body shimmer lotion, which you can put on regardless if you have any leg problems. And that'll just give you a nice glow and make your legs pop in those summer shorts or skirts. When you are thinking about summer legs, is it mm -hmm. true that if you use something that's more tanning agent and something mm -hmm. that's going to allow you to sort of darken up the legs that mm -hmm. in general those are going to photograph better and yes. look a little bit slimmer in general. It is true. People are, you know, used to um, self-tanner for a reason. It really does help hide imperfections. You get a more even tone and a nice color. Excellent for photographs and videos. When it does come to that self-tanner though, and you mentioned these products that mm -hmm. are temporary products, yep. right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to these temporary products, how mm -hmm. long can you wear something like that? for two, three, even four days? Well, these ones, this is a daily thing that you can rub on this particular hard candy lotion. But if you use the gradual self-tanner, like we talked about before, that will last. And if you use it, you know, every day or a couple times a week, I mean, we're, you could really have it last all summer. I like that idea. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sasha. Thank you for Thanks for me. being with us. Have a great day.